everybody. Happy Wednesday. I uh, see more people jumping on the on our meeting, so uh, thank you. Thank you everybody. Happy Wednesday once again. Uh, great meeting today, good content. Uh, expect to finish some uh, cool stuff about uh, uh, how you can uh, increase or double or triple or quadruple your risk in the next few months. Uh, like some of you out there are doing. Uh, so we're gonna have uh, our uh, concierge, um, oh, Ala, okay, I see you. Thank, thank you, on the call, I don't see your camera yet. That's fine, we have a couple of more minutes. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, super cool to, uh, once again, to um, um, have you guys uh, join us. And uh, let me just, uh, there we go. Thanks, Ali. Uh, we had some background noises over here for a minute. Uh, okay, so let me just share my screen. <clears throat> cool. Holly, thumbs up if you see my screen. All right. Let's do this. Okay, okay. Holly, lead us with a uh, quote for this week. Okay. Opportunities do not float like clouds in the sky. They're attached to people. If you're looking for an opportunity, you're really looking for a person. And that was said by Reed Hoffman. Well quoted. And uh, what does it mean to you? You're reading that and you're thinking about, you know, the past week and the past few months and what's coming next. Um, yeah, no, I think it's, it's really interesting because of the business that we're in and the, in the industry and, and that, um, you know, surrounding yourself with, with people that are your support system that are talented, that can really help propel you forward. Right. Um, that really at the core of it, people are our opportunities. Um, I, I think that's a, a really, that, that's what I think of when I read it. Yeah. Well said. And then. <clears throat> One, one lesson that, you know, uh, I know that a lot of people out there are going through every day, every week, uh, every year, uh, if you're fortunate, because it's, the, it's, the, it's about the journey. And I have many times in the past and many times in the future, um, sometimes people don't, are, not just, are not ready for you yet. Mm -hmm. Not ready for, for the relationship. Uh, not ready for the journey. Not ready to be guided by you to be, um, um, you know, um, coached by you, mentored by you. Um, they're not ready for your assistant. And, you know, mostly if you are there as a, as a, as a pro, you know, realtor, win the job to help people, changing people's life significantly. And, you know, if someone is end up joining, um, you know, I mean, taking around of a different uh, agent to, to, to work with, et cetera, um, it's okay. You don't have to, you know, you just have to keep going. And once again, this person was not, was not ready for you yet. Um, so that's pretty much what, what it's all about. At the same time, you know, you keep looking what kind of people you want to be in business with. Everything from A to Z. It's, it's in our office, uh, our leadership, uh, our affiliates, our uh, business partners, and, and that's what it's all about. So, um, yeah, I just want to spend a couple of minutes about that because I think that this is significant. This is pretty much how you build a better life, right? So, thank you, Ali. All right, um, brokers, I know that you're gonna have a different setup for today, Rich Richard. Uh, Richard, what are you doing out there, by the way? So we see this beautiful view. Oh, I think we lost him. Oh, here he, here he is. No, I'm here. Where, where are you at, by the way? I'm up in Big Bear. I was just cleaning out the, the porch out here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, looking. Yeah. There you go. Looking good. I look like a little helipad over there. Cool. <laughs> okay. So I, I know that you have, you guys don't have anything uh, specific to discuss today, but Rich. 
but rich what? <laughs> uh, no, if you want, if, uh, if anybody out there wants to ask a question, uh, put it in the chat and we'll, and we'll be more than happy to, to answer it. Uh, uh, it's kind of a free for all. It's the, uh, you get a little time. If you, if something is, uh, you really have some questions about, we'd be more than happy to answer that for you. Awesome. We're all happy. There's no new forms to deal with this week. So. <laughs> exactly. At least, uh, you know, by, by 10 a.m. this morning, right? Right, exactly, yeah. Friday's coming soon. Exactly, yeah. Great. Well, once again, um, uh, whoever is watching, you know, type in your questions, write down your questions, whatever you have, and our brokers will address them as we go. We're going to circle back to them. Thank you, guys. Um, all right. And just a little promo, Rich, especially for you. Um, so the, uh, that's for the some original agents, the, the value, you know, the SRR uh, board. Uh, they, uh, they, we, I'm, 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 you know, I'm the, the, the vice chair of this committee with the board running a special promo, uh, cool, you know, uh, cash prizes, by the way, short place on box, second place, 250, first place on box to uh, send us your best uh, value picture. And that's gonna feature in our website that we built for the, all the partners of the, um, um, of the board uh, to promote the affiliates and all the organizations and, and, and everything. We're gonna you know, put a promo out there in the next couple of weeks once we're gonna get it going. So just FYI, if you wanna have more info, email to, or send your picture to photo uh, contest at srer.com uh, or reach out to me and I will put you in touch with whoever uh, is, is in charge. <clears throat> okay, and with that, um, proud to present um, our partners with the KW Concierge. How are you there? Can you hear us? I can. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Good to have you. Yes, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Awesome. So, um, we wanted to get a couple of uh, things over here um, and uh, you know, you know, a few minutes from now, I'm also going to have, uh, I'm going to put uh, uh, Keith, one of our agents on the line. He's uh, doing a pretty incredible job with the concierge, with, you know, with, with our partnership with you guys. Uh, we'd love to get your kind of, you know, insight. Of, you know, you, you're working with a lot of successful agents out there that's using the platform. Yeah. So tell us what's new, what's recent, and, and share some, some insight to explain our partners, our, our people, how they can take their business to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. So um, for those of you that, that know us, Zoom Casa is really the operational partner to the KW Concierge. And uh, what we've been able to do through this partnership is really be a solution provider. And, and that's really what it boils down to is creating solutions for clients, whether they're buyers, whether they're sellers, whether they're homeowners. If, if your clients are conditioned to call you and say, hey, you know, I need this. And if they feel like they have that relationship with you and you have a team to support you in, in meeting their needs, then that really drives home the value that you bring to the table. So we hope to really be your partner in, in providing those solutions. Um, and what we've done a lot with, with um, you know, the successful agents, as you mentioned, many that we've worked with is a lot of it is listing concierge. You know, as you all know, there, there are similar products out there that provide concierge solutions for sellers. So it's a lot of where the need is. And what we, what we were able to do is really uh, be a liaison between you and your clients and professional vendors in getting their homes prepared for sale with no money due up front. We, you know, manage everything. We have a full design team to make sure that we're making the right improvements. We pay for everything, which is obviously a great part. And then the client pays for us when the home sells. So, um, you know, really broadens the amount of sellers which can access these pre-sale home improvements. Um, and as, as you mentioned, many, we have Keith on here today. So I can't think of really a better agent to highlight right now, you know, on, on the 12th. So a couple Fridays ago, I went down to one of his listings where we're really doing a full renovation, like a hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, renovations. And so I can even share my screen and, and show a couple photos if you'd like, but he's on here today. And, um, and really he's been able to use this concierge program to meet the needs of such a unique client that 
really needs a lot of work to get their home where it needs to be to sell the top dollar. And we're, we have our design team there to really help make sure this um, is successful. So, you know, just really trying to be the best partner we can to help you win more listings and, and service those listings adequately. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, once we're going to have Keith, we, <clears throat> I'm going to share some uh, before and after pictures from a couple of uh, projects and also a uh, little teaser from the, uh, <clears throat> the, the, the production that uh, you guys are doing with him, kind of like a, a yes. documentation of uh, uh, some of those uh, featured properties that you, that you mentioned. Um, yeah. Here's, here's, here's a question for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, how do you, how, how would you recommend to, for an agent to go about uh, presenting the concierge to their clients. I know that a lot of agents, they're running into, yeah, but you know, how do I even talk about it, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's a great question. And that's something that, you know, as of late, we've really tried to, to, to discuss further in training as well. And something that, that um, we find to really be successful is, you know, we have kind of three things that we say, don't say, and then we have like four things that we want you to always mention. And I'll start with, with what we tell you not to say. We recommend you not to promise a budget, promise a timeline, or promise a return. Of course, having conversations about you're going to get a better price, et cetera, is really important. But promising specific budget or timeline or returns can be really detrimental to your reputation with your client, of course, if, if you know, your forecasts are incorrect. So instead, um, what we would encourage you to do is really identify the home, the home's as-is value. So for example, the condition and the as-is value range and giving some comps, which I'm sure most of you already do to support where the home currently stands in the market. And then what's, what's usually really helpful is saying, you know, your home is between 650 and 680 and here's some some homes that sold for those for within that range you know down the street recently and then here's some homes that sold you know between 7 and 720 and they sold down the street recently and what did what do all these homes have in common maybe all of the homes on the higher side you know have updated kitchens and maybe all the as is homes don't and neither does the client's home well, typically that's really sound evidence to support, hey, maybe redoing you know, some of the fixtures, the countertops, et cetera, will help you get that price that you'd like and helps them kind of see a disparity that they probably didn't see because living in their own home, they think their home is the best home ever, right? And so they're stuck on a price that's maybe significantly higher than where their home realistically is. So giving them some like tangible evidence and showing um, a disparity between their home currently and where the homes that they, you know, want to emulate are, it's usually really helpful to introduce this program. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, mm. also, um, don't be afraid to um, present it, even if you're not going to end up using it. It's not really uh, up to you to use it. It's the decision of the seller uh, eventually. But think about how sophisticated agent it will make you look um, or, or even become while you're offering those services. And just as a, as a side note, just for you to know, a lot of our agents, not a lot of our agents, a few of our agents, but a lot of agents out there in general, been doing concierge <clears throat> for years. Um, you know, and, and it's, it's pretty hard to compete with someone who comes in and say, hey, by the way, I'm going to... Um, stage the house for you and, and clean up the front yard and paint and, and uh, there's a, you know, maybe something we can do a quick fix and patch here and whatever it is. While they, for all those years, assuming the liability and the risk and what have you, and also once again, they're printing the money from their pocket um, or discounting their commission. Here you have um, uh, impressive, sophisticated and um, well-experienced group of professionals that you can leverage uh, to, to your benefit. And once again, the combination of the marketing that we have available for you and, you know, I and the team, uh, reach out and, and they're going to help you out, even just with the consultation about how to go about and how to prepare yourself for the listing appointment if there's something significant you can do. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, and, and kind of to that point, it's it's interesting. We were talking about this recently because we actually had a an, an agent uh, call us and say, my client listed with Compass and the concierge and they're having an awful experience. We want to switch over to you. And so really what happened is Compass has scaled back. They have now restricted the, the dollar that they will, the dollar amount that a client can spend with them. And so they went essentially went to this client and said, sign here and here. We can no longer spend the amount that you need, $50,000 that you were intending to spend. Now it's reduced significantly and we prepaid the vendors. So, you know, you can't leave essentially. So they were obviously really in a bind. So we've been able to kind of work out a lot of those kinks, but, but the interesting thing is, you know, presenting this as an opportunity to prepare a client's home for sale, no money due up front, no minimum or maximum, regardless of if the client wants to use it. If they know that there's other concierge programs that can offer similar products, but have restrictions or have limitations, then that's kind of a deterrent for them to even want to list with that agent if they know that they have more with you. Even if they don't intend to use it, the fact that they have that tool through you and no one else really creates an exclusive offering and really makes them feel like they've, they've listed with the best. And that's obviously the goal, right? Even if they spend five thousand dollars even if they spend zero the fact that they could do it with you and they didn't have a limitation and and you know you're, you have a really professional team to help you along the way speaks volumes to the value that you bring really absolutely yeah it's it's a it's a game changer uh and once again i encourage all of you to add it to you know it's part of our listing presentations anyway the reason because it's it's a, it's a it's a value add and you know um you can offer it, it depends on the circumstances right but yeah, there's an obligation for the homeowner to utilize the service. But once again, you can offer it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm not really right now going to the level of coaching. We are um, planning to do something on this Friday uh, at 1 p.m., right, Al? Yes. Uh, uh, like a coaching. Uh, like we're going to go into the really g gist of like how to do it and how to submit a listing and objections and, and mm -hmm. you know, maybe like uh, case studies of like pricing and, and, and things that you can possibly do. Uh, and you know what? Let's let's um, and feel free also to uh, add a couple of things while we have um, we have Keith. Let me um, bring on the line. Uh, Keith, are you uh, are you with us? What? Keith? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, is is <laughs> is, is right here. <clears throat> Happy to be here in the in the <laughs> office. Um, Keith Koss with our uh, Long Beach office. Good to have you. Hello. <clears throat> so. Um, one thing I, I wanted to have Keith share, and I'm gonna, while you speak, I'm gonna share some, uh, some uh, images and what have you. Okay. Uh, talk about your experience, uh, your journey the last, I guess, wow, roughly like one year and a half, more or less. Yeah, it seems like it's, seems like it's just months, but it's probably been about a year now, I think, since, I've, since you've introduced the concierge service to me. Good thing I wore a suit today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you see my t-shirt and shorts. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, many brought this to me and it's really changed my whole business and I'm excited about real estate again. I guess I'm not a normal realtor. I just can't do the cookie cutter normal listing stuff. I like things like this that I can bring to my clients. We're bringing something of value that other agents aren't doing. And uh, like Isla mentioned, uh, Compass is limiting what they're offering to their clients now. So we do have an advantage. And um, you know, the, 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 what I mentioned earlier, we were out two weeks ago at my Belmont Shore listing and I had the uh, film crew out there and they're gonna do some training videos for it. But, you know, there's a lot of people, well, okay, this one here, sorry to jump. So this one here is a Huntington Beach listing I had that I sold in January. This home, it's a three bedroom, two bath, and it was worth, well, let me go back a little bit. It had a lot of issues with the house. There's an elderly couple that really, shouldn't have been living in there together and they should have been in assisted living years previous, but total nightmare rats running in and out of the property. This is a nice neighborhood in Huntington beach too, but it was just a disaster. You can kind of see a little bit from the two, before, the two outer pictures. Yeah. yeah before. <clears throat> so, um, that was work and it had $120,000 worth of foundation issues. We found out later on also. So it was worth about five, five fifty as it was. After we put fifty-seven thousand dollars into it with the concierge service, I sold for seven sixty. That's a huge swing, yeah, and amazing. that's that much more money my client was able to take to put to um, put her mother in assisted living. The husband ended up passing away shortly after um, they moved out. But and here's another uh, Seal Beach listing I had. 
that just goes escrow on. And uh, we put 19,000 into this one. And you can see the before and after pictures. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's such a big difference. And in case you're wondering, I don't, unfortunately, I don't do this concierge service with every one of my listings. I mention it to my clients, but I have a stubborn client right now that I'm put in a townhome or a condo on the market today. And she doesn't want to spend any money doing anything. She doesn't want to do staging even. Sure. Some people just, you know, you just, just go with the flow. And I tried every bold Tom Ferry angle I could, and she wasn't budging. She just sticking to her gun. So that's what we're doing on that one. And I'll, it'll still is sell. It, it, is it staged? No. Yeah. She doesn't even want to stage it. Yeah. Um, Ala, are you guys already offering the virtual staging or not yet? We are. We've been doing virtual and physical staging. Yeah, so, so that's another angle, by the way, to you guys out there. Uh, and also our media team offering that uh, for media. So, but in combination of both, you can, uh, but we see like once again, the con our concert is, is very diverse in finding solutions, et cetera. Right. So another thing that yeah. you, can, you can look into, right? right. Um, and I just spoke about, kind of briefly about the intro for what you guys having uh, doing right now down the street, yeah. all right? And I, I just want to share um, uh, just, couple of minutes from um, what I put, actually, I'll give you a shout out on, on social media, but yeah. just to share this couple of, and just I want you to talk about that, exactly what you guys are going through. So let's okay. check it out, uh, if it's gonna work. So keep my thoughts to the outside of the house. Right you could. Yeah. So here's the film crew filming us doing a training video with Tony, Tony's the, the head designer for, for uh, Zoom Casa, KW Concierge. So he's explaining to me what they're going to do, the front yard and all that. And then, then he's going to, you know, so they're going to put a, a, a cool little ficus uh, hedge type thing and put gravel around, around the, uh, it's ended, is okay. uh, around the front yard. So people, because people in Belmont Shore like to entertain in the front yard also. So then we're going to, is this going to be a full remodel? We're putting 108,000 into it right now anyway. Uh, Two people in the neighborhood came up to me while I was there a couple weeks ago, and they offered between six and seven hundred thousand, like right now, because they know it has good bones. Uh, we're putting one hundred and ten approximately into it, and it's going to be like a brand. It's going to be a remodel, actually, more than a renovation. And uh, the comps in the neighborhood, there's one for sale right now. It's less square footage, and it's on the market for for nine fifty four. It's not even as nice. That I know we're going to finish with. We're putting shaker cabinets and all the nice high-end appliances and everything in this one. And the garage is going to be like a yoga studio. We're going to really, Tony's going to really make this place awesome. It's a cool showcase. I really think I can get about 1.1. 1 .1. I, you know, I'm not promising anybody like they're saying, you don't want to, like I was saying, you don't want to promise certain numbers because then your client might come back and say, hey, you promised me this. But I, you know, I build a good rapport with my clients. So even if it's not exactly what I say, they're, they're okay with me, you know. But um, you don't want to promise a certain price point, of course, but I know I put my life on it that I can get over a million unless, you know, more disaster happens. <laughs> but, yeah. that, but the housing market's still strong, so we're good. One thing about Keith that, you know, he really took it to the next level, uh, thinking outside the box. Uh, I mean, once again, it's an amazing tool for in any capacity, <clears throat> right, Isla? Uh, in the sense of like, just the basic stuff, like make it like look, look you know, look the house, look nicer, more presentable, sexier, cleaner, what have you. But he took it to the next level of, hey, you know what? I have investors, instead of them spending the time to find uh, contractors and, and you know, spend the, the hard money, lending, whatever, whatever, right. let's leverage the concierge. Of course, concierge will, will vet the property based on equity and, and conditions and, and what have you. But in most cases, it's going to work. And there you have it. It's just the returns are just incredible. So. Yeah, and, and, I, and I know some agents are saying that, or, or, or many has talked about, and I think uh, the owner of Zim also talked about, it's not necessarily you're going to net that much extra money, but by putting a little bit of money into it, you're going to be top of the market and get multiple offers. So you're going to definitely get your money, recoup your money, but you're going to have multiple offers. You won't have to deal with, oh, you got to fix this, you got to fix that. You know, you get strong buyers that, that will just, you know, pay good money for it. And, uh, I'm, I'm excited about, you know, net my clients extra money. So that's kind of why I like it. But, and unfortunately I've been able to do that so far. I, I don't see how, I mean, think about it. all these HGTV remodel shows on TV. 
they wouldn't be on TV if this wasn't working. Mm -hmm. So why, why wouldn't this work with our clients? And I know there's a lot of high powered agents in this office and you're, maybe you're on the, on the zoom call right now that still aren't utilizing the service. And I don't understand why I really don't. I mean, you can still do all your other listings also. It's not like you have to camp out and wait six months for these things to happen. I mean, this full remodel is going to only take two months and, and ask yourself the question, what, why wouldn't you want to utilize this service? If you had to do manage all this thing yourself, and like many just said, get the contractors, the painters, all this stuff, and micromanage everything, you know how contractors are, they take forever, right? Well, not with the concierge service, because these investors want their money back quickly. So they do a good job, and they're not you know, buzzing through it, but they get it done in a timely fashion, so we can get it on the market quickly, and, and, they, and get their money back. So. I don't know why some of these agents, maybe, maybe you just got your head in the sand and you don't want to try something outside the box like many said, but I mean, if you got a fixer, why wouldn't you want to net your client more money? Why, why sell it to an investor that's going to do the same thing anyway? Get your client more money so they can upgrade to a bigger home possibly or have a, a bigger nest egg. I just don't understand. I, yeah, it's a really low percentage I don't, and I, I don't understand why. I mean, People yeah. are stuck in their ways, I guess, but you guys should really try it. Yeah, well, and, and I appreciate your, uh, you know, um, you know, be very... Uh, I'm, I'm, I know I'm being bold about it. And no, no, it's, it's okay. And I appreciate that. Why? Because you really care about other people as well without, yeah. you know, say, I'm only it's, I'm going to keep it only to, to myself because it works really, really well for you, well, right? And by the way, I was worried about that at first. Like, oh, this is a cool thing. Oh, man, I... I, I got to hurry up and get things done because uh, other agents are going to, and then all of a sudden, why is no, why is nobody doing this? <laughs> yeah. You know, it, 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 and, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah. And people do use the concern, but not to that capacity. And that, that's back to my point is just be, um, just be creative with it and don't, don't be afraid to reach out and ask questions. And we didn't really bring too much marketing pieces, but Keith in all of his properties, he put a sign, a sign in the yard. And that's by the way, uh, we have a great question by Stuart over here. Uh, uh, Stuart was asking, how does it work with the coming soon, right? Uh, ideally, Ayla, maybe you can address that in the first part. Ideally, you guys will um, go out to consultation and, of course, you know, give bids and everything uh, if the agent has a, a signed agreement with the homeowner, correct? Correct, yes. This is something that begins once you have that signed exclusive listing, really just to ensure that your client you know, isn't going to take this information and, and bring it elsewhere, but also because we want to spend our time with serious sellers. But, you know, if you come to us and say, hey, I, I'm going to get this listing, I need budgetary numbers, or I need you to have a conversation with, with my client, these are things that we'll do to help you secure that listing and maybe help you communicate it a little bit better if you need that assistance. And obviously, Keith has been a great adopter of the service and this is a great use case that we went over most recently. But, um, you know, not every project needs to be six figure remodel or renovation. You know, a majority of the projects we do, in fact, are, do not fall into that category because a lot of homes, especially at the higher end, they don't have significant deferred maintenance. It's mainly just a need for maybe staging and painting and cleaning, whatever it is, we want to fit the needs of your client. Even if those needs are not quite as substantial, there's still a, a service for them and a convenience factor to know that you have a full service team to help them get their home ready, even if it's just a matter of getting staging done. Right. And then the other part of it, and then maybe, you know, uh, Rich Richard, you can, you can double check and get back to us at, at uh, one point, unless it's, you know, you, you already know the answer. <clears throat> we, we provide uh, those yard signs that we design and just say, you know, uh, uh, something about, you know, uh, this house is, uh, uh, there's a work with a, with a concierge, etc. And like our, you know, our office information, it doesn't say coming soon. It doesn't say any of that. Uh, I don't see any problem with that uh, compliance wise. Once again, Walker, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> you're promoting uh, Keller Williams. Uh, the, right. the logo is on it, correct? Sure. On sure. that sign. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's public marketing. So sure. uh, if it was excluded from the MLS, Right. then that would be public marketing and it would have to be, it would have to go into the MLS within one business day as either a coming soon or an active and 
coming soon, you would be limited to 21 days. Right. right. Okay. Right. So I would wait and put that all that stuff up once you know you're within 20 days or so of going live. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. So so once again, you can still do that, but not in a uh, let's say I don't know. Let's say Keith has a project of right right now for like a month and a half, right? So you need to be cautious about putting that yard sign 21 days before if if he's intending to uh, promote as coming soon, technically, right? Uh, Rich, how um, how about, you know, when you, when you put hold, do not show, can you just keep putting hold, do not show, hold, do not show, hold, do not show, if you have a two-month project going on with a, not a for sale sign necessarily, but that's the concierge sign in the, in the front yard? You, you could put it on hold, but then you wouldn't be able to go to, to uh, coming soon. You would only, your only option after taking it off of hold would be go, to go active. So, so, yeah. so I could have my sign in the yard and just keep yeah. putting hold, do not show, hold, do not show. No. No right. Just be aware that Redfin and Zillow are going to count your days on the market for both coming soon and on hold. I don't fear Redfin and those guys. Those are guys that are idiots. Well, they I know, but I get buyers and yeah. I know, but I get buyers and sellers both calling me going, "Why is my sh property showing thirty days on the market?" And yeah. it's because of hold and on. Um, it's just on their two systems. I, I, I have a whole different opinion about uh, days on market. Uh, I, mean, I personally don't think it, it matters, but that's just my opinion. If the house is great, it's gonna sell. Uh, and, end of story and how you market it and, and how you prepare it, right? So, uh, but, but, but that's good to know, yes. I, I also wanted to add that I, I've been um, charging three and a half percent on my side commission on, on, on these concierge services things because, I mean, think about it. I mean, we're, we're bringing something of value and they're going to net a heck of a lot more money. You know, even if it's just a little bit more, we're still bringing something of value. So why wouldn't, why shouldn't we get compensated for it a little bit extra? And this, this property is going to sell for over a million. I mean, do the math, That's yeah. pretty good money. If you do three and a half percent on all your deals, you're going to make a lot more money per year. Yeah. Hey, many. Yes. Uh, for that class on Friday, is there any way we could coordinate with the brokers to talk about the topic of how we can um, properly use the Zoom Casa concierge service um, and stay compliant with our MLS and guidelines? Can yeah. we have that as a topic? Where is that? It's part of the marketing. Yes. Good. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. Thank That's you. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great point. All right, Anna, anything um, else to add before we're going to move on? I think we covered a lot. Definitely tune in on Friday if you can. I believe we'll have our lead designer joining me in order to just speak even further to the service and um, give you more insight. So hopefully you can make it. But I think we did. We covered a lot. Thank you. Yeah, Friday 1 p.m. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll be there. We're going to have some fun and give you some amazing ideas. And we're actually going to show some more marketing pieces so you're going to see and we can show those with you. So, Ara, thank you so much for your time and, and thank you for your support and uh, taking care of our agents. Of course, thank you. Have a great day, everyone. You as well. Perfect, Thanks. thank you. Um, okay, so more on Fred at 1 p.m. Uh, and let's go to our <clears throat> team leads. Um, on a side note, uh, brokers, Rich Richard, there's a, a few great questions on the chat. Uh, if you guys wanna address those and then uh, maybe after the team lead section over here, if there's anything that you actually want to talk about and share, you think it's worthwhile, so uh, please do. Um, all right, um, Holly, Stephanie, what do you have for us? Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday so far. So we just briefly wanted to talk about standards because as a little, little graphic there, it says standards boost business. And I have a quote, actually, it was from Mike Ferry years ago. It says, people produce at a much higher level, whether it be in their job school, in most cases, the home, when certain expectations are set for them, right? And it is, it's all about, you guys have this multi-million dollar business that you're, you're building or already in and want to take it to the next level. So what are your standards and your expectations that you are setting for your particular business, you know, for example, quality, you know, the quality of your work, the quality of your, your customer service and the quantity, right? It's really important, you know, it's kind of putting your goals on steroids a little bit, setting those expectations. So then for those of you too that are building a team that you can relay this vision 
and set the expectations with everybody that you're bringing on, right? So it's either for your, you know, just for yourself or as you're, you're building, building a team, you know? So, and that goes down into knowing what the percentage of your business, you know, for listings and buyers, you know, how is your business structured? You know, knowing exactly where your business is coming from, where you're getting the biggest ROI, it's setting those standards in that particular area. And then, and then Hallie, I know has some uh, great yeah. to share. So make sure also that you're not just focusing on your business and your numbers, but focus on setting the standards for your clientele and who you work with. Uh, this cannot be stressed enough. Um, you know, make sure that you're really, really pre-qualifying people, that you're asking the tough questions. You know, as, as a team leader of the market center, I just don't like to take any agent off the street, right? We like to think about it as a partnership and as a business, and you need to apply that same thought process to working with your clients. You're really partnering with them to achieve a business goal. So make sure that you have standards for communication, right? Make sure that you have standards for how time they're getting back to you and what you expect of them because they in return can expect a lot from you and you're going to lead by example in that way so uh, sometimes it's hard to, to you know break up with a client I don't know if anyone's had to do that but uh, it, it can sometimes feel difficult and you feel that loss but um, j just make sure that at the end day you know that you can be proud of having a standard and having an expectation because you're it's going to end up really benefiting you in the long run yep absolutely and and two you know when you after you do a buyer consult or you're with your 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 sellers right you set the expectations of what you need from them and then you also give them set the expectations mm -hmm. from them as to what they to expect from you and also, you know, your exactly. standards for continuing education. You know, what are you doing to continually sharpen your acts, right? Do you have personal coaching to help improve your performance, et cetera? So as you plan out, you know, your, when we do our business planning at the end of each year, it's like, okay, these are the seminars I'm going to go to. This is the coaching I'm going to have. That's setting the expectation to continually improve your business. And so another expectation is pre-qualifying your prospects 100% of the time. Now that doesn't mean pre-qualifying with the lender, which we need to do, but pre-qualifying them, you know, your seller, make sure they're willing, able, and, you know, to, to, to sell and, and motivated. Make sure your buyer can actually do the proof of funds, right? Setting the expectation standard of knowing how much of your business is coming from repeat and referral. Back to where is that business coming from and setting that expectation where in each of the different avenues of business, what's coming in. And then last but not least on, on um, in setting the standards of your business is setting the standard of your minimum profit from your business each year, right? Is that strange? You, you guys are in real estate, right? To make a profit. You just want to not spend it all. And you know, you want to have money left over. So what is that minimum standard? Okay, am I gonna have X amount of money saved in profit from my business each year. So you set that goal, set that standard for yourself on that. And you will see that your, that your business, business will boost with set standards and expectations. Yeah, and just to add to that, if you, if you, uh, if you tuned in to the uh, masterminds we had yesterday <clears throat> with, uh, about working in Sphere, we had uh, 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 great panelists. We had uh, Yana Gallows, uh, David Abbas, Jason Default, and, uh, you know, uh, they're all talking about the aspect of coaching and training and, and they mentioned, you know, I wish I, I had, um, uh, you know, starting earlier with the part of being mentored by or coached by, right? And uh, David Abbas mentioned, you know, he just uh, hired the MAPS coach uh, a few months back, just prior to COVID, uh, actually he hired him at the, uh, right after the family event in, in February. And like a month into that, not even uh, COVID hit, but then he, he went through the whole process with the coach and is, you know, he, he always was on top of his game. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, definitely about the mindset and attitude. Um, talking about um, masterminds, Holly, you want to share something, both of you are leading, by the way, incredible, one of the most powerful um, 
masterminds I've, I've seen last Thursday, that was the women's panel. Uh, and uh, so, so congrats on that, just great job on that. Really super powerful insight and content. And Holly, uh, you want to share something with us? Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, many asked me to share a few words about the women's panel and just how I felt about it uh, as a leader. And first of all, these are all the uh, wonderful, powerful real estate women that were involved. Um, you know, I just want to say thank you to all who are watching um, it, for participating with Shoku and Claudia and Maureen and Michelle and Dee and Jennifer and of course, uh, Stephanie and myself. But Many asked me to talk about it a little bit and, you know, I really was having a loss for words. And so I made this little video for you guys. So many, if you could pull it up, I really just feel there's nothing I could say uh, that that would mean more than, than you guys watching this little clip. So uh, sit back and turn, turn your volume up. Why are women really good realtors? And I said, we're natural nurturers. Studies actually show that on average, women spend one to three more hours each day than our counterpart, right, men, <laughs> when you take into account all the unpaid work at home. Right? I knew I can't be nine to five. I have to be mom first and then take care of my kids. And as a new immigrant and nobody knows, no background with the real estate, but I am a survivor. I definitely think that it has to relate to balancing your family with um, your work. Uh, that has been something throughout history with uh, women, you know, getting into um, leadership roles because the expectation is that you are there for your family. We should be um, very grateful and do what we can to keep propelling our industry in the world around us uh, to be more accepting and to, to even the playing field that well, Nobody's around to tell me how to do a better job or keep up on me or fire me. If, if I don't hustle, then I'm not putting food on the table. Um, we're a force to be reckoned with. We're here and we're not going anywhere and we're just going to continue to to edge in on, on market share because they some of them have been around a lot longer and um, you know, and I think, I think it all starts with education and, you know, you know, everything does. And, and as women, sometimes you let it go and sometimes you don't and, <laughs> you know, but uh, acknowledgement and respect, I think, um, very important to me. And honestly, when I, when it comes down to it, it's because I care about the people, right? Like I care about the staff members, I care about the agents around me. And if it wasn't real estate, it'd be, if I was a teacher, it'd be my students. I just want to leave everything better than when I got there. Okay, if I can, I work hard and smart, uh, I can teach my kids that that will get you somewhere. Like I'm, I demand respect at this point. Like, don't underestimate me. That just makes me, it just puts more fuel in the flames and it makes me work even harder. This is a time in history where we're gonna stand back and we're gonna look at what did we do to um, affect change? You know, I think we're all resilient and I think you're all amazing women, great leaders, and uh, you know, let's, let's divide and conquer. Let's go, let's do this. Love it. Great. Uh, many, can you share the link? Uh, can you share the link in the side just in case anyone wants to watch it? I know it was skipping in and out a little bit, but um, so powerful. Uh, I hope, you know, to all of you women out there um, and that, that you go and watch that panel because these, the, the, the vulnerability and um, the, the stories that these women shared resonated with so many of you. So go back and rewatch it if you haven't. Um, it's truly something you don't want to miss. Yeah, and I'll show the link in a couple of, uh, couple of minutes. Thank you. Very mm -hmm. powerful, inspiring, and uh, um, it, it's, just, it's just another testimonial to how great our group is and uh, consists of just powerful people um, and uh, people that are willing to open up and share. So yeah, good job on that. Thank you both. Um, <clears throat> I also uh, added to the uh, chat um, uh, the, the information exactly how to reach out to the concierge uh, phone in the, the link. 
how you can reach out and submit your listing, etc. So uh, make sure that you um, that you know how to do that as well. Um, <clears throat> couple of updates um, on our end over here. Um, one second. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I didn't have any specific uh, tech. Uh, updates to share with you. We're actually going to have a, we have a class today, uh, me and Patricia, I want to say two o'clock, I might be wrong, maybe it's three, I'm not sure if someone can check and correct me. Um, uh, step, step, step by step, how to create flyers uh, in command. They just, once again, keep improving the skills and the, uh, the uh, abilities and, and simplify how, the how-to for us, which is pretty great. And of course, increasing the inventory of the pre-made template. So uh, you definitely want to join us today. Uh, <clears throat> Stephanie Halley, uh, let me know if it's two o'clock today, just, just to make sure that we're telling the, the, uh, our people the right time. Um, also, the uh, not sure you know, if you are familiar with the Northern California <clears throat> area, primarily market, uh, the, the Gunnerman Group, um, John KW, they've been in business uh, for many years. Um, last, last year, they did uh, just under uh, 200 uh, uh, million uh, production. Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's like 180 something mil uh, in production. Uh, pretty significant. It's, uh, um, um, you know, uh, two guys, a couple that they are, uh, I'm not sure how big their group is, like in, in agent wise, they're not that big, but it's still, you know, more than like just, you know, the two of them, uh, but just incredible powerhouse. And just check out that what, what just a couple of like a minute and a half, what, what, they, what they have to say, he has to say. Hey guys, I'm Jason Abrams, and this is my friend David Gunderman, and I'm so excited <laughs> because Oakland, California, get ready, $188 million in closed volume last year, Welcome to KW. Oh my gosh, thank you. Why'd you join? Oh my gosh, three, three reasons I would, I would say. It's values, it's technology, and it's teams. Those are the three things for me. And if I could break it down a little bit, you know, we're in a profession of care and advocacy. And what I see in, in the Keller Williams ethos is that that principle just, it just top to bottom in your, in your ecosystem. It's something that you guys value as deeply as we do. So that just feels like a terrific alignment. You and the technology and what you guys are doing is extraordinary. Uh, you know, proprietary software and platform technology is the future of real estate, and, and I'm so excited to get my hands on all of that. And then lastly, you guys understand team structure. I've been with traditional brokerages, and, and they don't quite understand what we're trying to do in terms of team structure and expansion, and you guys get it. So I'm really excited to dial into everything you're doing and take it to the next level. Yeah, it's the most powerful part of Keller Williams, our agent partners. And now we are partnering with one of the greatest real estate teams in the world. We are grateful. We are excited. Keller Williams, we're just getting started. It's kind of cool because they actually rank uh, one of the, uh, I think the top 100 in the nation, or maybe top 50 even in the nation as a, as a group of like the, the production level stuff. So uh, that, that's, that's pretty, pretty awesome. And uh, you're going to see more and more announcements coming from us between our, our offices of agents who joined us uh, as well. We, we had a tremendous growth the last few months um, with agents that uh, incredible, you know, just people that are just good people. And um, the majority are producing agents too who joined us. And uh, we're going to make sure to show the love as well. Um, today, yep. Uh, oh, sorry. So two o'clock is actually the step-by-step -step how to complete the new PPP loan. With uh, that's actually a CR car attorneys uh, broadcast. So tune into that. Uh, we're not going to record that. They might. I don't know how if we can get the recording afterwards. But that today at two o'clock, three o'clock. They do there. many. They do record it, and you you can get it afterwards. Thank you. Yeah. So if you if you miss not attend at two o'clock, we'll try to get the recording for you, probably from the CR website. Um, in three o'clock, it's uh, Patricia and myself, uh, flyers in command, definitely worth watching. And um, we have a, a mentee coaching uh, 5 p.m. with, uh, <clears throat> with, uh, with Stephanie. Um, one o'clock tomorrow, uh, ALC after the, the morning coaching. Um, and then there was a great session. I, I did do a, a, a send an email yesterday, um, various techniques, most recent techniques, how to uh, 
convert online uh, leads, it's not just buyers overall with our uh, uh, partners in realtor.com. Don't miss this one out. You have to pre-register. So just go, go on the calendar, click on the link, or go back to my email from yesterday uh, and check it out. And uh, contract session tomorrow, uh, 4 p.m. It's going to be with a couple of agents that are going to go do a contract overview. And um, as we mentioned, we're going to have 1 o'clock uh, concierge on Friday. In 5 p.m., we have uh, a mystery guest live music uh, um, you know, you, maybe you know her, uh, uh, her first name is Pink. I forgot the last name, uh, but it's gonna be a great session. No, I'm just joking. I don't know who that is, uh, but it's gonna be a cool, cool session. And uh, Saturday, <clears throat> we have our um, Ignite. So uh, all of you, if you're a new agent, if you're a not a new agent, if you're a producer, if you're a non-producer, you're welcome to join. Uh, it's gonna be, a uh, a fun marathon uh, led by uh, Stephanie, Holly, uh, and myself. And it's a kind of back-to-back -back, uh, 12 sessions, 30 minutes each. And uh, it's going to be a fun ride with all those amazing uh, uh, producers that you can see on the screen right now. Uh, various topics. And they're going to share their actual incident experience, um, you know, uh, around those, 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 those topics. And... Um, and and and, and uh, bold as you know is launching again next uh, next month. And um, 900 bucks uh, for the entire session. Most of you took it last time. Now there's another chance to take it again. Um, Rich Richard, anything you guys want to add? Uh, if you anything that you saw in the questions, etc. Do you want to address? Yeah, I, I'll just say that uh, you know I know that coming soon is a, a new status for you know especially Chris Nutt users and and there is a little confusion about you know uh the listing contract and i just want to you know you do need a valid listing in order for something to go into coming soon um uh and uh that listing the start date that it goes into coming soon is this start date that um that that listing contract should uh should have uh, it's not 21 day. You don't add 21 days or, or anything. It, it, it's a valid l listing agreement at the time it goes into the MLS. So, um, and uh, marketing is allowed in coming soon. That was one, another one of the questions. Uh, while in coming soon, it is allowed. The only place it's not allowed is on third party syndicated websites such as the Zillow's and the Trulia's. And everybody sticks Redfin in there, but everybody needs to realize Redfin's a brokerage. So they are gonna show up on Redfin. And um, as uh, Richard pointed out, their day, evidently they're calculating those days on market, even though it's a, it's a they shouldn't be. But um, you know, that's a fight for another day, I guess, as they say. Richard, do you have anything else to say? Just a little bit on the market we're in with the um, lack of inventory. We wrote an offer and advised the other agent that we could close escrow quickly and do a rent back for the seller. She's in an office with 8,000 agents in the local area. They had never heard of it. She took it to her broker. They had never heard of it. So it's a great tool. Just come to us if you're having issues finding a replacement property for your client. Um, come to Rich and I and we can help guide you through doing a, a great offer that will help the seller and the buyer get the deal done. Yeah, thank you. Thank you both. Um, okay, I just shared the uh, link to the YouTube video that Holly uh, showed us earlier. So you can, uh, you can have that and you know, look, look into that. And you can always go back to uh, our YouTube channel or that was broadcast actually on my Facebook page. So you can go back to my page and go to videos and look at the whole broadcast as well. Um, and with that, that's all we have guys. So um, thanks everybody again for participating. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to us, reach out to your team leaders uh, or our uh, incredible uh, office brokers and uh, stay safe out there. Happy Wednesday everybody and thank you so much. Thank you, have a great day everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you.
try to put some music back, but it doesn't let me go back. But that's fine. All right. Bye, everybody. Appreciate it. Bye.